Hey guys, and welcome back to Spirituality with Gabriella. This video is about how to find your soul family. So a lot of people ask me, how do I find the people that really light me up, that really make me feel aligned? Well, we all want friends and we all want our soul family because when you're with your soul family, everything feels good. You can be sitting, having a cup of coffee, not really talking about anything in particular, but energetically you're connecting on the same wavelength and that is what feels just like home. It's a sensation of warmth and joy and connection and you know it when you feel it. It is just the same as falling in love because truly you feel this emotion of joy and warmth and connection. So the first thing to do if you want to find your soul family is you have to clearly let the universe know that you are ready and committed to finding your soul family. And at this moment in your life, you are calling them in. That is the first step. And that is the most important step because you clearly have to communicate to the universe and your spirit guides that you are ready for this change. When you find your soul family, what's actually happening is you are existing as your own energy and then universe and spirit sends you all of these other people who exist at your same energetic level and therefore match your energy body. When you are interacting with people who aren't your soul family, you're basically just earlier in your spiritual ascension. So yes, you're still going through your own journey. You're still going through development, but your soul family only can come in when you're truly ready to spiritually expand and ascend. And so it's not just about finding the people that make you feel good. It's actually about your commitment to your spiritual journey and to your true ascension process. So number one, you tell the universe crystal clear, I am ready for my soul family. I'm ready and I'm willing and I'm committed to bringing my soul family in. You can do this through meditation. You can do this through literally speaking it out loud. Your spirit guides always hear you. You can do this writing it on a piece of notepad paper and maybe offering it to nature, like burying it in the ground. That's a really beautiful practice too. And if you do these things, the universe will hear that you are ready for your soul family. So that is the first step. The second step, and I'm sure you've heard this before, easier said than done, but very important, is that you start to get really mindful about who you're spending time with. So this means accepting less things that do not align. Do not accept people and things that do not align. When you accept something that doesn't align with you, you are letting that energy into your energy field instead of creating boundaries. And so if you truly want your soul family, to vibrate around you and be with you and come closer to you, you have to prioritize that type of person and those types of people. Everything else is going to have to fall away. It is literally like an energetic mismatch for you. So say no more to the people who are not vibrating at your level. Say yes to the people who are. A couple of years ago, one of my coaches shared a practice with me and she literally told me to write down everyone I knew who I was in contact with like on a daily basis or a weekly basis and to rate them on a level of one to 10 on how much they filled me with energy and joy. Like how fulfilling was that relationship? And one of her points, which was hugely eye-opening for me at the time is, hey, Gabby, you rated yourself as an eight. So if other people are a six or a five or a four in your books, that literally means that every single time you're hanging out with them, you are bringing yourself down energetically. And on the flip side, with the people who you rate as a 10 or a nine or an eight like yourself, you're raising yourself and they're at least meeting you at your level. So that is a practice that you can do if you feel like it. You can rate everybody that you are interacting with daily, weekly, especially and kind of see where do they fall. And then from there, you can decide who to prioritize spending more time with. It is hard to turn people down, but just remember a lot of this is energy, right? And so there are certain people that you're just going to have to create more of an energetic force field with. And that means keeping them at arm's distance 
It means setting healthy boundaries. And it also means being really clear about your expectations, your needs, your wants for your relationship. And what will happen, interestingly, is all of those people will actually start to respect you more. And over time, naturally, they begin to fall away. So the third thing, which is really significant and also very important, is do not send mixed signals. If you're truly ready to find your soul family, then you got to prioritize the people that make you feel lit up. You prioritize them weekly. That is just as important as doing your most high value work. If you think about it in the business world, right? So think about that as your main project, really aligning with people that make you feel good. If you don't know anyone that makes you feel good, that's totally fine. But do your research, find them on Instagram, find them on Facebook, go onto social media, go onto Zoom, go to your local coffee shop or library, start talking to people, find people who have shared interests. Usually there is soul family where there is shared interests. It is because your energies are connecting at the same level over shared passions. So do your homework, set your boundaries with those who are not serving you and do not send any mixed signals. So this means not saying yes when you mean no. It means making sure that you are prioritizing the people that truly light you up. So let me know, have you guys found your soul family? You can let me know in the comments down below. I'd be super curious to hear where you are with your journey, with your soul family. Do you know who they are? Have they started coming in for you yet? If they have, it's a really, really, really good sign. It literally means that you're spiritually ascending and reaching a higher level. So if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share it if you feel so inclined. And I love you all and I will see you all very soon. Bye.